Bonjour à tous, hi everyone, and welcome to Learn French with Vincent. This is Unité 1, leçon J. So, what will we discover in this lesson? We'll discover les articles définis, so definite articles. Uh, in English it would be the, okay, but in French, of course, as usual, we've got the difference between the masculine form, the feminine form, and the plural form, okay? And we start with the masculine form, so we've got le, le, okay, and then in some cases this vowel, e, uh, if it's close to other vowels, so if there is a word after that starting with a vowel, in some cases it, it will have to disappear, okay, so you will get this L apostrophe, so that's the reason why I've been writing it here, okay, but then the main form is le, okay, then la, feminine form, la, same for the same reason, you know, you will have this option, L apostrophe as well. And then the plural form is LE. Okay, so whereas in, whereas in English you get only, there is only this THE form in French, we will have the difference between the masculine form, LE, the feminine form, LA, and then the plural form, LE. So, of course, according to the word, you will have to choose the correct article. So we'll take a few examples here. The first one is chien. Chien is a dog. And in French, chien, like that, it's masculine. So le chien. So basically, you just put the article le and then chien. Okay. In that case, second case, ordinateur. Well, you can see that it starts with the vowel O. Okay. And as I said, you know, E uh and O, they don't get along that well. So you get to take this away and then you get this l'ordinateur l'ordinateur all right and third example so i took on purpose this hotel okay because it starts with h but remember that in french we don't pronounce h okay so basically the first sound of the word is the vowel o okay so for the same reason e needs to disappear L'hôtel. Okay, so we re if we repeat them, le chien, l'ordinateur, and then l'hôtel. Okay, feminine form, la famille. Okay, so no problem. So family, la famille. Okay, then we've got argent, money, argent. Same for the same reason. So ah uh, ah, uh, l'argent. Okay, you get to take this all way, l'argent. And same thing as previously when what we saw for the, the masculine part, even if you've got this H, then the first sound you hear is A, ah, okay? So for the same reason, you will have to take this A ah away, and then you get this l'habitation, l'habitation, okay? And then I've been taking, well, basically, the example from here, chien, okay? And then I put S at the end, and it's the mark of the plural, okay? So you put les chiens, the dogs, okay? Les chiens. And then you take famille, family, okay? You just add this final S and you get the plural form. Les familles, okay? Remember, chien, singular form, chien, same pronunciation, but you put this S, okay? Final S, not pronounced. Famille, singular form, famille, plural form, same pronunciation, S, not pronounced. Okay? I hope it was clear. So it's uh, leçon J. It does mean that you can find the leçon K right here. Okay? And then more stuff there, imagier.net. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Bonjour à tous, hi everyone, and welcome to Learn French with Vincent, and this is Unité 1, Leçon K. Okay, so let's see what we'll discover in this lesson together. We'll discover les articles indéfinis, so indefinite articles, so any, um, in English uh, there is only one and it's a uh, or un, okay, and in French we've got always the difference between the masculine form 
the feminine form and the plural form as we saw in the previous lesson remember for the uh, definite articles okay it was the same okay and in this lesson so article indefini well it's the same we'll start with the masculine form and the masculine form goes like that so when you put these two letters together it can be quite tricky to pronounce at the beginning of course after that you will master it without any problem and without any doubt but you get to pronounce it like un. so it's uh, what we call the nasal so it goes in your nose okay un. so if you listen to me you don't hear any n okay so it's just a combination of the two un. 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 all right okay so that's the masculine form then the feminine article is here and it's easier because if you you have this u n e then you pronounce it un un okay masculine un feminine form un un okay and then the plural form de all right here a s you pronounce it you pronounce it like e okay un un de all right let's see a few examples now okay here ami means friend okay un ami and then we tend to make this little little link between the two un ami un ami okay soleil sun un soleil un soleil livre book un livre un livre voiture car feminine une voiture une voiture école school feminine form as well une école une école décision une décision une décision don't ask me to translate this decision come on please ami so i've been taking this now look ami here so we've got the masculine form and it's the singular remember if you want to put the plural form then you just add this final s here okay but then technically you pronounce it the same way so singular form ami plural form you add this s but it's ami as well okay in that case you get de so here de okay here and then there is this little liaison remember it's been introduced in a previous lesson you put this little link between the word des amis des amis okay i've been taking wa voiture here voiture a car okay just add this s at the end and then you get the plural form des voitures okay and then i've been taking back this livre same thing you just add s at the end des livres okay let's repeat them one more time un une des un ami un soleil un livre une voiture une école une décision des amis des voitures des livres all right i hope it was clear so it was leçon 4 uh, sorry leçon k okay does mean that the next one is leçon l and you can find the next lesson and also the previous lessons if you didn't see them on this channel of youtube youtube.com and then imagier okay and then the main website that i've been doing you can find more material pdf files uh, applications whatever and it's uh, imagier.net uh, have a great day bye bye bonjour à tous hi everyone and welcome to learn french with vincent this is unité 1 leçon l and in this lesson we'll discover together l'article interrogatif so it's really useful and we'll see that now so l'article interrogatif here you get the masculine form and it's quel quel means what okay so that's what you'll use when you want to ask a, a question with what okay and you've got a good example here so quel est votre nom de famille what is votre your so the polite form of your nom de famille family name last name okay quel est votre nom de famille what is your last name
Second example, quel est votre prénom? Prénom is first name. What is votre, the polite form for your? Quel est votre prénom? What is your first name? Okay, so you can see now, more in detail, that nom, prénom are masculine words. And that's the reason why, in that case, you get to choose the article here according to the gender of the word it is connected to. Quel, masculine form, because nom is masculine. Quel, masculine form, because prénom is masculine. Okay, let's see now the feminine. And the good news is that, as usual in French, we write the thing differently, but then we can pronounce them the same way. And then the feminine form is written like that, Q-U-E-L-L-E, -E, but it's pronounced like the masculine form. Quel at the masculine, quel at the feminine. Okay, so it's basically same pronunciation. Okay, and then here we've got two examples. So, for the same reason as previously, we had this nom and then prénom. They were masculine words, so you, would ha you will have to, to put this quel form at the masculine. And then here, nationalité and adresse. So, nationality, address, are feminine words. So, it does mean that you will have to use this article interrogatif, quel, at the feminine form. Quel est, what is, votre, your, nationalité. What is your nationality? Quelle est votre nationalité? Okay. Quelle est votre adresse? What is your address? Okay. So, let's repeat them. Quel est votre nom de famille? Quel est votre prénom? Quelle est votre nationalité? Quelle est votre adresse? Okay. So, remember one thing for the phonetics, okay, the way to pronounce them. Quel, masculine form here, will be pronounced exactly as the feminine form here. Quel. So, only one sound, okay. And then, the second thing that you've got to remember, of course, you can, well, basically accord these articles with the word they are connected to. So it does mean that if the word is at the plural form, then you will have to put the plural form. Uh, the rule in French, if you remember correctly from the previous lessons we've been lessons we've been doing, uh, is to put this final s at the end of the words to put the plural. Okay, so quel here for the masculine singular will become quel here masculine plural. Okay. Quel here, feminine singular, will become quel with the S, feminine plural. And the good news is that you will pronounce them the same way. All right, so quel, 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 and quel. Okay, remember that in some cases, of course, you will have to make this little liaison, you know, this little link between the words. So if the word or the verb or whatever is coming after is starting with the vowel, of course you will have to put the, this little link, but then if you pronounce it or if you pronounce them just like that, quel, 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 quel. Okay? That's it. So it was leçon L. Okay? It does mean that the next lesson is leçon M, and you can find this lesson or the previous lessons on the channel that you can see here on YouTube, okay? And then the main website, imagier.net, it's here. You can find many, many things. Okay, have a great day. Bye-bye.